Do I think Bernie Sanders is a failure? Well, sure. Do you think Bernie Sanders is a failure? Of course. But maybe that's exactly what he wants us to believe. There's a weird thing going on in Bernie world right now as we get further and further down the road to Stalingrad. It's fun to be the insurgent. You always get to be the most pure revolutionary candidate. No one gets to your left. They want to spend $10 trillion on the climate. You're spending 16. They want to ban the Second Amendment. You want to expand the ban to cover slingshots and angry expressions. They want to bring cancel culture to the womb at nine months. Well, you're building a disintegration ray for their annoying toddlers. But suddenly, now that Bernie is the front runner, the people around him are realizing, holy crap, like this, this could actually happen. The guy we found living in a barn on top of a pile of horse dung ranting about a socialist utopia, utopia like Doc Brown describing time travel might actually be the nominee. It's at this point we start thinking, uh, perhaps this whole Ivan Drago fan club shtick is not the best approach to the average voter. Traditionally, Americans aren't all that fond of socialism. And when it comes down to it, they're probably not picking a guy who's pissed off that West Germany went away over a guy who shows up at the Daytona 500 with a supermodel and a limo called the Beast. But look at it from Bernie's point of view. Sure, you want to win, but you just can't say you're going to abandon all the things you've been promising your voters. You can't look like you're a completely inauthentic liar who would say anything or be anything to acquire one iota of power. In other words, you should never go full Elizabeth Warren. So the Bernie buddies have come up with an innovative solution. It's a new message to voters. Yes, of course, Bernie wants to completely remake the entire economy and nation in his own image. Of course, he wants to make sure that uh, your ownership of that insurance policy you enjoy, that is now a criminal act. And yes, he wants to spend so much of your money that bajillion will become a real word. But don't worry, he will fail. This has been the explicit pitch of the Sanders campaign, mainly in effort to get the support of members of the powerful culinary union ahead of the Nevada caucus. Top Bernie surrogate and inexplicably famous person Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez rolled out this novel explanation as highlighted in this article from Business Insider titled AOC says the quiet part out loud about Medicare for all. It is virtually no chance of becoming law right away. She says, quote, a president can't wave a magic wand and pass any legislation they want. The worst case scenario, we compromise deeply and we end up getting a public option. Is that a nightmare? I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, AOC, the worst case scenario of socialism played out last century with a death count of not one, not two, but 100 million dead worldwide. But I guess that's looking kind of at the whole issue as a glass half empty kind of thing, you know? At least each and every one of them died with universal health care. Bernie Friendly writer and Young Turks contributor Ryan Grimm said basically the same thing as AOC, though he used a much higher rate of syllables per word. Hey, Culinary 226, check in with your government affairs people. There are not 60 votes in the Senate to ban the private health insurance you got in your union negotiations, nor will there be after the election. You're going to be A-OK. -okay. In other words, vote for Bernie and hope he fails. 